normally when you have an e-commerce website, you either sell to the public or to resellers who have access to wholesale prices. But it's actually possible to combine both of them together on the same website. Well, it turns out that yes, now it's actually very easy to do that thanks to a very nice plugin that you can install on your WooCommerce website. And with this plugin, you'll be able to sell both the public at normal price and your wholesale customers at discounted prices. And all that without interfering with one another. So when someone goes on your website, they'll see the regular price intended for the public. But once they're registered as wholesalers, they'll have access to your discounted prices. So this plugin is super well designed and super easy to use as you will see. Now if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up as this will greatly help for this channel. Okay, so let's wait no further and let's dive right into it. Hi guys, so welcome to our demo website here, so it's a full-blown e-commerce website for cosmetic products. So as you can see here, this website is for end users, for B2C, but maybe you want to create a B2B section where only wholesalers can actually purchase this product. Maybe trade only, maybe you're selling to beauticians and beauty salons in your area as well, and they obviously won't get access to the same pricing as uh, end users. So you might want to create a separate uh, section just for this, and I'm going to show you how to do this now. And for that, we're going to use the WooCommerce Wholesale Area. And the main feature is this. As you can see, add wholesale to your public store. You'll get a hidden area that only wholesale users can see with wholesale registrations, roles, B2B discounts, and a quick order form. So this is a very effective plugin indeed for this type of situation. So let's go ahead and install that on our WordPress uh, dashboard. So welcome to our WordPress dashboard now. And for this, we're going to plugins and add new. So bear in mind, this is a WooCommerce uh, add-on plugin. So you'd need to have, uh, you would need to have WooCommerce installed, of course. So in here, we're going to upload plugins after you've downloaded from the Bounty website. Choose file and you're going to select the file in question here. So this is the one. And then we click open and install now. So that's it. That's it. That's done already. Very quick indeed. And all we have to do now is to activate the plugin. There you go. Now, as you can see, now we have our WooCommerce Wholesale Pro, which is absolutely finally installed. And we click on to settings now. As you can see, to activate this plugin, you need a license key. So when you registered and purchased this um, uh, plugin from the Bantu website, you receive a couple of emails, and one of them contained the license key. And then simply paste your license key right here and click Activate. Are you sure? Yes. And as you can see here, our license key is now active. So the only two different settings you want to make sure now is that those two pages are filled in properly. So wholesale login page should be wholesale login, and the wholesale store page should be the wholesale store. So if you use the drop-down menu, make sure these are selected properly. So if we go into our pages now, as you can see, those two pages have been created automatically when installing the plugin. So this is our wholesale login page and the wholesale store page. Let's quickly go back to our settings here, and you can see we have two boxes we can tick. Wholesale registration. So do you want to display registration form on the wholesale login page? If so, tick that box and moderate new registration. So all new uh, wholesale registrations for moderation by an admin. So every time someone registers as a wholesale uh, customer, you want to make sure they are really wholesale and not just trying to take advantage of the discounted prices, of course. So you might want to take that as well to add an extra measure of security. So let's have a quick look at our pages, so what they look like. So if you click on pages now, scroll down, you can see wholesale login. So if I right click on this view and then open in a new tab, so this is what our page looks like. But because I'm already logged in as an admin here, obviously I will not be able to see this. So I have to open this in an uh, incognito page. So let's copy and paste this. Close it now, and we're going to open this in an incognito page. So new, new incognito, paste, there you go. So this is what it looks like. So wholesale login, you can either log in if you're already registered, 
or you can register. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do this now. So I'm just going to put David Garay, that's myself, and I'm going to use my personal email address, just like that, and then register. Well, your registration has been submitted successfully. And your new customer will receive an email immediately. It looks like this. So your wholesale registration is awaiting moderation. So thanks for registering for the wholesale store. Your request has been held for moderation and it will contact you soon. So immediately after this, you can go yourself into the back end and decide if you want to activate it or decline the registration. So how do you do that? It's very simple. Click on users. And as you can see, we have two users here. We have David Garay. And as you can see, this one, the role is currently pending. So you can either approve or reject. So if you want more details, simply click on it. And as you can see here, we are provided with all the names, details, and email address related to that person. So it's up to you after this. So if you want to approve it, it's fine or reject it. So approve account, update user, and that's it. So if you go back into users now, as you can see, this one is a wholesale user indeed. So let's go back quickly to our registration form. Now, as you can see at the moment, all you have is username and email address. But maybe you'd want to make sure these are really wholesale people, you know, just to make sure. So maybe you want to ask for maybe the company name, their location, and maybe a web address. So how do you do this? Very simply, it's very well thought out actually. And so if we go back to WooCommerce settings, and we go into wholesale. As you can see, we have registration fields right here. So if you click on this, you can add fields. So you could ask company a business name, full address, or maybe location. Location in brackets, city and town. So you can Google them, you know, after that. And then uh, website. That's it. So, by adding three other fields, you can make sure that these are really uh, wholesale people, you know, not just taking advantage of the discounted rates. So, just safe registration fields. Yes. There you go. So, now if we go back to our registration page and refresh, as you can see, now we have company, business name, location, and website. But as you can see, our fields are optional at the moment. So you might want to make this mandatory. So how do you do this? Uh, make them required. It's very simple. If you want them to be required, just pick those boxes next to it. So you want to make sure that maybe the website could be optional. Maybe not all the businesses have a website. But usually, it's 2021, uh, they should have one normally, you know. So anyway, if you click Save Registration Fields, say Yes. And then we're going to back here. And if we refresh once more, there you go. As you can see, we have a username, email address, company, business name, location, city, and website. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to restart the registration process just to show you quickly. So let me show you simply how to do this. So I'm going to users, and I'm going to delete this one for now. That's it. Confirm, and let's restart the confirmation, uh, the registration process. Sorry. So let's go. David Gary, the same David of Gary Gmail.com. So company name. I'm going to put uh, my company Ltd. Location. I'm going to put uh, I don't know Dublin, Ireland. I know website www.my website.com and then we can register so that's it again your registration has been submitted successfully so from your end if you go back to users after we receive the confirmation you can see this one is pending but this time if we open it you will have access to different sets of information of course so as you can see here we have the wholesale user information What's the company or business name? My company limited. The location, Dublin, Ireland. And the website, mywebsite.com. So these are vital information you might need to actually decide whether or not this person is a wholesale company or not. 
and then once you're happy or not, you can either approve or reject the account. Click on approve, update user, and that's it. Now you have a new wholesale user on your website. And upon approval, your customer will receive an email immediately like this, a confirmation email. Welcome to the wholesale store. So you have the email address and then a password. So I'm just going to copy this now. There you go, control C. And we're going to use this now to log in in our wholesale store. So from here, basically, you type in your username or email address and then the password we just copied and then log in. And that's it. So this is our wholesale store page. And as you can see, there are no products found matching your selection because we haven't set up any wholesale product at the moment. They're all B2C and uh, for end users, basically. And what we need to do now is go back to our uh, WordPress dashboard and we're going to our products. So click on products and we're going to display all the products. So as you can see at the moment, we only have, uh, what is it, eight items here. So we'll just click on one. I'm just going to show you quickly. So this is our regular price, which is forty-five uh, pounds, I believe. So what's the wholesale price? So maybe it's twenty-two fifty, let's say. And then if we update, now we have one product set up as a wholesale. And how do we know that? If we go back to our page here and refresh, and as you can see, this is what our wholesale store looks like. So at the moment, we have all these prices. And you can see this is the one that we modified and we changed the price. And as you can see, it's now £22.50 instead of £45. So if you click on the product itself, as you can see, you can see that it was £45 minus £22.50. So uh, obviously, if someone was a wholesaler, they fully understand that the normal price is £45 and the retail, retail, uh, wholesale price for it is £22.50. So let's go and change another product maybe. Let's go and change this one here. Let me skin toner. So let me show you how easy it is to actually change this. Or the acne skin toner. This is the one here, 45 pounds. And we're going to put this one at 27.95. And then update. And then if we go back to our wholesale store and we refresh, and as you can see now we have the discounted price at 27.95. So just to emphasize again, these are the prices you can see once you are logged in in the wholesale store, obviously, and registered as a wholesale, a wholesale user. So you can see here this twenty seven ninety five instead of forty five and twenty two fifty instead of forty five. And if I open the same website in another uh, browser altogether, as you can see the prices are just regular prices. It's forty five and forty five. So there is no uh, discount on this site. Only if you are logged in as a trade user as a wholesale user, basically. And now if I was to browse away from this page, from the wholesale store, I got back to the home page, my prices will still be discounted, as you can see, because I am not in as a wholesale user now. Well, there you go, guys. It's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.